What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to do... Alright, we're going to do Kerwit's stipulation, because Kerwit is jonesing for it. Kerwit's stipulation says... Draw all the cards... Oh, Kerwit, this is actually a different step. He changed it to, like, take all the card advantage cards. Take all the card advantage. Step. I don't care how you win, but you better draw a lot of cards. That's probably true, too. So we're going to leave that part. And come step. Okay. I'm going to take Treachery. Because it's blue. It's card advantage. It's mana advantage. And that's all you really need in life. Okay. Preordain's nice. Talarian Academy and Volcanic Island are kind of cool. Hmm. I kind of just want Preordain. Volcanic Island is basically drawn two lands. I'm gonna take Preordain. It goes with the It goes with the stip. It's a nice safe pick. Thank you. Venser is nice. Oh, J Chart, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. Has anyone ever been down to Rat Train? Have you have you ever been down to Rat Train? Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> Man, we could have we could have Volcanic Island and Arid Mesa here, but I don't even care about red. Hmm. Hmm. Upheaval, huh? Brazy B. Kurt, what do you think? Upheaval or Brazen Bar? What's the deal here? I don't like upheaval. All right. Done. It's done. Okay, so Gristlebrand draws all the cards. And this is a pretty This is a pretty late Gristlebrand. I, I think it's got to be it's got to be better than Frost Titan here. Hmm. No blue cards. Thank you. So I'm kind of satisfied. Oh, Matt Toledo, thank you for the Thank you for the sub, buddy. Oh, the, look at the hype train going, guys. Look what you've started. Um, I think we're just taking Hero's Downfall. Like, this pack's not super impressive. Knight's Whisper draws us some cards. I'll take a Knight's Whisper. There's a Kiki Jiki as well if we, if we went with those, those red lands. But right now, got Knight's Whisper, Preordain, Gristlebrand. Treachery is a two for one. Brazen Bar is pretty much a two for one since you get a, a creature out of it. Blood Chief's a Thirst? I actually like a Blood Chief's Thirst. It's interesting that the blue has dried up after these four very good blue cards. What's the bets on if we end up salt tie? Dang it. I'm, I, got, I gotta stay blue-black. I gotta stay blue-black. I love a good Gristle Daddy. You guys have three minutes and 30 seconds. Before the hype train ends. So, I don't know. Just get it together, probably. <laughs> Just had a turkey with double meat. What is the largest meat multiplier anyone has ordered? <laughs> okay, well, nothing great in here. 
We can take Shambling Vent or Lava Claw. I'm going to take the Shambling Vent. What's the ratio of Hype Train to Rat Train? Um, we're going to take Makeshift Mannequin because we have Gristlebrand. Thank you. Oh, Suriage, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. 60%. We're at 60%. I don't know why, man. Arbitrary hype trains on Twitch is really satisfying. Unburial rights. And we have the shambling vent. That's actually not terrible. All right, we're going to try to reanimate things. Cabal Ritual? Sure, you're terrible, but I'll take you. Mastermind's Acquisition. Rights does get Gristle Daddy. That's why we took it. Thankfully, they didn't want veggies on it. Yeah, I feel like there'd be no room if you have triple meat. So what is that, just bread and meat and, like, mayonnaise? <laughs> Jesus. I just want a sandwich with triple chicken, bacon, and and some mayonnaise. Seems good. I want the anime dead. But I'm not going to pass a Mox Safarino. Also, Riftwing, Mana Leak, Orzhov Signet. This pack's pretty good. It's more meat now than bread. Twisted and evil. Ooh, anime dead. Yeah, that's real exciting. I'm excited about an anime dead too. Da -da -da -da. This card draw deck is now a reanimator deck. You two gonna It's not like we were passing yeah, but the thing is we're not passing we're not passing card drawing cards for reanimator cards. We're still taking the cards that we find. And also keep in mind the card we're reanimating right now. Um it draws us seven cards. So I can't imagine this is not uh drawing more cards than any individual card in the queue would. I guess it would, actually it would draw equal to because there are still cards like uh, Time Twister, which draws you. I think it's Cryptic Command. I like Cryptic Command a lot. It could also be Exhum or Mere Battle Sphere. You could have drafted stacks and I wouldn't have cared. All right, well, I'm going to take the Cryptic Command because that does say draw a card on it. And I love a Cryptic Command. So, you know, it's all it's all checking out. Okay, we got a Blight Steel Colossus, which is never getting reanimated. Uh, could just take Karn. I don't hate Karn. Show and tell. Kind of meh. I think it's Karn. Blightsteel's cute if we get Tinker, but looking at the deck now, we only have Mox Sapphire, so even that's kind of ambitious. We could take Elish Norn as a reanimate target. Bolus's Citadel is the advantage, that is true. Huh. You know? It's Kerwitz Stip, man. Bolus's Citadel. Plus, if we get Tinker, we can still Bolus's Citadel as well, so. Oh, I kind of like Toxic Deluge here. We could Library. We're two colors right now. 
You guys want a library? I think people are underestimating library, right? I, I think it's at this weird position where like people don't want to take a library because certain people are, are are speaking ill of it. Uh I think Spellseeker might be very good, especially if we like reanimate or exhum comes back. I guess it was animate dead, not not anim not reanimate, but um yeah, I'm gonna take the Spellseeker. I think that the upside is higher on Spellseeker. None of these cards are great. This could have been a hull breacher, but you plan. Oh, what up, J Money? What if we wish claw talisman activate it to uh, get? No, that wouldn't work, right? I'm just taking that out of Dell. Whatever. Take Woe Strider. Ooh, Massacre Worm. Also, Impulse. Impulse is very good. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take Impulse. Oh, the Animate Dead did come back. That's pretty sweet. We can't get it with Spellseeker, but I'm, I think it's still fantastic that it. Wow, that's that's a treat. Exhum came back. Uh, uh, see, that you can get with a Spellseeker. That's pretty sweet. I'm kind of hoping that... Um, that Toxic Deluge comes back. Dark Petition. Oh, Leshnorn came back, though. Actually, Leshnorn's not bad. We also have Shambling Vent. In case we ever find ourselves in a position to... Hard cast it with another white source. Toxic Deluge did come back. <sighs> Kurt wants a treasure cruise, though. But I like when you draft black decks. Me too. Also, Ashen Rider. I do like Ashen Rider. Now they have Exhum and Animate Dead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go against the grain here and take... I'm taking Ashen Rider. Okay, we took Deluge because Kurt said Deluge. But now I'll just take Iona. Our deck looks... This looks pretty good. I would love an Entomb. I'm definitely taking Polluted Delta here, though. If Thieving Skydiver or Chupacabra come back, I will be immensely grateful, but we are taking Polluted Delta here. I want to make sure I can cast my f Quad Black, Triple Black. Oh! This one's up to Kerwit. They both say draw cards on them. I mean, I'm pretty sure I know what I... I, I know I know what I would think to take. <sighs> Follow your heart? <laughs> My heart says Baleful Strix... But I also think this might come back, and I don't think this is coming back. I'm going to take the Consecrated Sphinx. Looter seems fantastic. We have Exhum, Animate Dead, Makeshift Mannequin, and this is a great way to discard things. Let's let's do it. Oh, Charter Course, also great. Is Charter Course better than Unus Prowler? I think so. Oh, Sphinx is wild, man. I love a good I love a good Sphinx. Yeah, Prowler could wheel. We're going to take Charter Course. It says draw cards on it, so. Oh, Kurt, what are we taking here, bud? I don't know if you guys could hear that, but I did a little burpsy right there. I want to take Woe Strider out. You're not super impressive. So I'm thinking Factor Fiction, but I'm also thinking Course of Portal. Course of Portal is a pretty sweet way to... Uh, Draw some extra cards, but Factor Fiction puts the cards in the graveyard. So I'll take a Factor Fiction. Snapcaster. Yeah, I think it's got to be Snapcaster here. Um, 
yeah, we have tons of spells. Impulse, Exhume, Preordain, Bloodchief's Thirst. We can Toxic Deluge, Hero's Downfall. We can Mannequin. We can Unbarrel Rites, which would not be that much better than just casting it. I don't think we're a recurring Nightmare deck, unfortunately. I do think we are a Him to Torok deck because we have uh, black mana and uh, black black cards. So that's all you really need to be a Him to Torok deck. I would take Thirst, but we already have tons of, of similar cards. I'm probably cutting Iona here. This is 24 cards. I mean, we have lots of similar. We don't actually have any artifacts whatsoever to discard to this. So I think it's actually... I think we just want more removal like Shriek Maw. <laughs> and Chupacabra, because he came back. Hmm. We could also take Shieldred. Which might be better than Aleshnorn, because it's just an easier card to cast. Where is the Ashen Rider? Oh, we took um, Toxic Deluge instead of Ashen Rider. Yeah, I'm going to take Shieldred here. Eh, take Gush. Draws cards. Let's take Birthing Pod. This is 26 cards. We definitely need some cuts here. I'm tempted to go Cryptic Command. Like, I just feel like we are... We don't have any dual lands. We just have Pluto Delta, which is actually not a dual land. So, it's kind of rough. We can cut a Leshnorn. We can probably cut on Burial Rites. We already have Makeshift Mannequin, Exhume, and uh, Animate Dead. And this is 23. I think this is actually a pretty good 23. And the Unus Prowler did come back. Nighthawk Scavenger, not terrible. Shallow Grave. All right. So basically, we have a pretty solid uh, reanimator sideboard as well. You got it. I mean, this is not bad. This is actually a pretty decent 23. We have Unus Prowler on the sideboard. And we can play library. So this is eight, nine, six, seven, eight. Sixteen lands and a mox. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. Why not Prowler in the main? Just simply because, like, I think everything else is good. And I don't really... I, I think Prowler's just okay. And we already have Looter and Charter Course as far as discard outlets. I don't want to cut Knight's Whisper because it draws us some cards. These are our reanimate targets. This guy is as well. Bolas is Citadel because of Kerwit. We have uh, Shriek Maw for some early removal. Deluge, Heroes Downfall, Brazen Bar Spell. Like, everything else is good. I just don't think... I, I don't think Unus Prowler is, like, super vital because we already do have Looter and, and Charter Course. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, if someone wanted to play a Prowler in the deck, I, I, I wouldn't fault them at all. Even though 99% I'd cut it. <laughs> My only problem with Mastermind's Acquisition, and that's I, I don't even think it should be in this cube, is because it's just four mana. And you already have Dark Petition, Vampiric Tutor, and Demonic Tutor, and all of those kind of do it better. I mean, I get that you can get from your sideboard, but, like, I'd never want to pay four for it. 
Ooh, it's getting chilly in here. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. We can actually Spellseeker for Charter Course to discard Gristlebrand. Uh, no, Thirst, yeah, Thirst is, is, is for early game the same way Fatal Push is, but also because you can just pay four and kill a Planeswalker with Thirst, any Planeswalker, it's very good. I mean, Thirst is also just four mana kill, like a card like Gristlebrand. It, it's, I think it's extremely versatile. It's just a very good card. Yeah, I've been really impressed with Thirst because, like, in turn, in the early turns, it's fine. But, like, then once you get to the later game, it's, it's just being able to kill anything is really good. Okay, I see you. See, it'd be nice if we can hit either a reanimate spell or a discard outlet, because then we can play Spellseeker and get the other half. And Cube Gristlebrand is an early game threat. It's true. Oh, they missed a land drop. Toxic Deluge. Well, with nothing to put in the graveyard, I think we're just going to go for, like... I think we're actually just gonna go for charter course here. In Russia, Gristlebrand draws you. <laughs> like you do. Oh, I see. Well, we did not hit another land. But we did hit a mannequin. A maniquin, if you will. Are they just going to kill us? Do they just have a twin? No. Huh. Well. Put the land. Shark Typhoon. So I don't think they have another land because they missed the land drop. Um, so I assume that their hand has no lands in it, which makes Mox Diamond. I mean, Time Twister is pretty good for them. We'll say it like this. If they want Time Twister, they... They get a Mox Diamond and a, and a Commit to Memory. Hmm. They took Land. Shark Typhoon. Don't care about that. We're just going to pass here and keep up makeshift mannequin. Mentos fresh and full of life.
Do you have an actual... Do you have an MTG Arch Nemesis? If so, who and why? Also, is there one for Cube specifically? I don't think I have a Cube Nemesis. Hmm. I mean, I think my closest thing to a Nemesis would have to be like Luis. So this is actually unfortunate because if we make shift mannequin Gristlebrand, we can't actually draw cards here because of Narset. Oh, just MTG in general, specifically due to the Pro Tour, but. And if they have anything like a lightning bolt, this guy just gets wrecked, you know? I'm really tempted just not to. Do you have any cube frenemies? I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. Let's risk it for the biscuit. This guy's gonna die either way, right? So they might even just counter this, which in which case we get. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, they do have something. It's just gonna be, what is this? What is happening? Shark Typhoon, no! We knew they had that, actually, so. I mean, realistically, our, our Gristle brand still lives, so. It's not bad. Um, I think we just play Looter here. It's not exciting, but our hand doesn't really have that many other things to do, so. And we still got to gain seven, so. Cool, dude. Narsa will not let me draw any extra cards, no. We do get to draw one this turn, so that's that's pretty cool, I guess. Yep, that's pretty good. Sweet. <sighs> this is fun. We're having a good time. Hey, 
hey, look, we drew a card that lets us draw other cards. Funny when you try to pull off that, you can never do it, but then they never don't have it. Yeah, no, I, I, I know. You're not wrong. Is Hex Mage still in the cube? I don't think so. I have not seen a Hex Mage in like in 40 years. Oh, a high tide. Do you have a way to draw your high tide? I bet you do. Oh, good. They, I like that they shot the gristle brand with fire ice and they just immediately drew the fire ice again. I guess the onboard top would also still do that, yeah. Oh, boy. I mean, as you could probably tell, I've emotionally resigned myself from this game. Uh, Hexmage, as far as I know, does not have any alternate arts. So I don't think it would have fancy art on it. Yeah, Hexmage literally only has one art, so... I mean, I, they still have to win the game here, so. High Tide's in the graveyard. Did they cast High Tide? I don't know what's going on. That fancy art you saw was, in fact, a different card. Must have been a different vampire. You know, they all look the same. Dang. Well, I hope it wasn't Bloodthorn Vampire, because that is also not in the cube. You guys are just making up vampires. This is very strange. You're going to do this to me for five? Was this 15? Cool. Wish I had an Eldrazi. Do I have any way to, like, shuffle my thing? I don't think so, right? So what is this one, two, three, four, six? This is not. This is not going to do it. When you copy the spell, you just put it on the stack. You're not actually storming again. You're not casting it. So, I mean, this doesn't actually kill us. And thank you. Yeah, that was not ideal. Okay. Well. Oh my God! Why do we need all these friggin' lands, dude? I cannot believe we don't have a second blue source by now. This is terrible. So Exhum is in the graveyard. Animate Dead is, is also in the graveyard. Okay. I would love... Oh my god. Can you imagine stealing Palancron, untapping, and then just like having Palancron? That would be cool.
Oh, Jake with the gifted sub. Thank you, buddy. Man, Sensei's divining top during the main phase, huh? Nar set time twister and brain freeze for every possible way to use your extra card draw against you. Uh, okay, well, I don't have an artifact, so I guess that's fine. Well, they can't use time spiral again. It's been exiled. That is how time spiral works, thankfully. Um. Well, that's fascinating. Do I have anything? Oh, we shielded. If they block with Thieving Skydiver, they can't... They have to sacrifice their Palancron. So that seems fine. I'm going to laugh if we end up winning this game. What do we get back next turn? Consecrated Sphinx? I mean, that seems... Or Venser? That seems pretty good. Bane fire, because <laughs> of course, because of course. That's what father likes. Steal this thing, untap my lands. I'm gonna take your pallet crown. Okay, now I'm going to assume Narset dies here. Attack Narset, attack your face. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> oh, he's so, he's like, I'm done. I'm off it. Oh my god, dude. That's fantastic. You just got to believe, man. Believe in the heart of the cards. That's wild, dude. I kind of want Iona if they're going to brain freeze us. Oh, I love when they copy their their brain freeze, and it's like, okay, but that doesn't that doesn't work the way you think it works. You're not gonna copy the storm here. That was an emotional roller coaster of a game. Jake, are you watching in the living room? Okay, um, I'm pretty sure Toxic Deluge is probably not great here. Let's bring in Nighthawk, Woe Strider, Shambling Vent, another island, a Plains, um, Iona, and Unburial Rice. This is 46, 20 mana sources, 46 cards. I'm in. Cassidy's watching Netflix there, so I'm just on my laptop. Your head is small instead of life-size. Well. What can you do? Sometimes your head's a little smaller than you need it to be. I'm going to keep this hand. It 
you were watching in the living room, Mike B said these left a sandwich between the cushions. Uh, ironically, that's actually a, a possibility. Okay, what do we want here? Chart a course. We need a creature is the problem. I'm going to keep chart a course because I think it's just good. I see. Oh, Gristle B, you live in the tree. Do I need to get a, can I get a black source? That'd be kind of cool. See, because I only stuck in one planes and one shambling vent, it means we actually can't cast Iona. We will always be one, one shy. I'm going to get a high tide. Mox diamond. You got it. Um, actually, I think we just play Woost Rider here. They only have three cards, so I assume they're going to reanimate some bullshit this turn. Did I say reanimate? I think I meant they're going to draw seven. <laughs> they're going to make us discard our hand and we're going to draw one card. That's what I meant to say. I think I said they're going to reanimate some bullshit, but that's like, that's what I do, so. Well, if they didn't have one before, they definitely have one now. Uh, do I have any? I have tons of room. <laughs> I'll be I'll be going through steps like crazy. So, as long as you guys want to support me and, and throw some steps my way, I am more than willing to make sure we get them in. You got it. I mean, I think they're going to have fire ice to kill the woe strider. Or they're just going to tap it down with ice. Or they're going to cryptic command tap my team. You're going to return my land to my hand. Sure. All right. What is your New Year's resolution? I actually don't even know. That's a good question, though. I 
I usually, honestly, I don't usually make New Year's resolutions because I just don't. I, the whole like starting on New Year's seems so arbitrary, right? Like if you want to say I'm like, I'm going to ride my bike more. Like if I decided on December 15th that that's going to be my new resolution, just start it then, you know? To your resolution should be to make a resolution. That's super meta. New Year's resolutions are a scam. Well, maybe. Cassidy's loudly supporting you. She just said the same thing about resolutions. They are. <laughs> Cassidy, I'm glad you agree. Oh, good. It's Palancron. Your favorite and mine. My New Year's resolution is to make twice as many memes as last year. See, that's just a goal, right? That's not even a resolution. That's just a goal. I think it's good to have goals. What's the difference between a goal and a resolution? That's a, I mean, one is stupid and the other one is a, a productive, you know, thing, a productive thing. Wait, did they not? What is this? Why is this still tapped? Oh, because they topped? I don't understand anything. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. They have one card in hand. All right, well, let's see if we can kill the Narsi. <laughs> is your last card, like, friggin'... <laughs> is your last card Fire Eyes? Commit. You're gonna commit this guy. Okay, dude. <laughs> this is hilarious. The effort they're going through is actual hilarious. Plus, our inability to draw a second Black Source in order to uh, Blood Chief's Thirst is also pretty comical. So, they also have one card in hand, two cards in hand, and they're actually one card in the top, I guess. Oh yeah, do that. Oh yeah, I forgot we only get one card. <laughs> that's... So I'm sure they got land fire ice, right? Like that's obviously what they have. Or bane fire for one. Those are my guesses. Yep, here we go. Yep, cool. <laughs> it fucking never fails. Oh man. Yep, keep that on top. Steal your jabroni. Kill your Narset. All is right with the world. I can have this. Narset is literally the anti-stip here, yes. So let's make sure she's dead. Is that dark? It seems dark, but that's okay. Good lord, save me like five turns to kill this Narset. But we also know they have Time Twister and Time Spiral in their deck, so kind of worth it. And Banefire is one of their few win conditions, I imagine. Oh, what up, Hardest of Core? This is a Time Spiral? Are we Time Spiraling? Shark Typhoon as a spell. Got it. <laughs> I'm gonna go get Ancestral Recall. Wouldn't that be cool? 
Oh, this is gone. High tide, sure. I don't think this does anything that I care about right now. Especially because we can't cast it, so. You think they're going to high tide kill us next turn? Woe Strider's nice on board because we can just sacrifice the Palancron if they try to get it back somehow. You got it. Team Jabra, I agree that Georgia flipping means a lot, but where does that... Is there a... Is that a non-sequitur? Where's the... The thing... To go, what is that? Where is that? What's that related to? What are you responding to? Okie dokie. So I just get to draw seven cards because you have nothing to stop me this time. <laughs> we could factor fiction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. Pretty good. Oh, we can also, we also have time spiral. That's pretty sweet. Georgia flipping is like the cube drafting of IRL. Um, hmm. Oh, what up, Chaos Theory? God, this not second black is really, really a pain here. Sure, this is fine. It's not flipping. Interesting. I mean, like, did you also think Georgia was not going to vote for Biden? Because I don't know how you could possibly have that information. You know what I mean? Like, Huh. Let's do Cryptic and Sheldock in one pile. Okay. Okay. Gonna bounce with this guy. Um... I will also factor fiction. Hmm. Do I care if they bounce Woe Strider? Not, I don't think I do. I mean, sure. I think I actually want to sacrifice Palancron, maybe. <laughs> There's more yee ye ye people here than big boy, big brains. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Um. Yeah, we're gonna sack this. If they have a way to bounce that, they just make infinite mana. So. I mean, but also they have four minutes on the clock, so they have to win this game and the next game in four minutes. Sure. Okay, and that resolves. 
for sure. Big shark. This is definitely a lot of sharks. How are we not just dead? I mean, we might be. Uh, I mean, I don't think it... But I don't know what that, that... I don't know how that's relevant, though, you know? So Brain Freeze is, what, 30? Sure. We can make Shift Mannequin a Gristle Brand. I don't think... Dan's, what up? Thank you for the raid, lady. Really appreciate it. One. Two. Three. Uh, I can't cast spells. The spells are already cast. Man, I would I would love to have a um sure. I figured out how to do it. Dan's I'm so proud of you. Sure, go to the next phase. I mean, are we just like makeshift mannequin? Or something? What what can we can we snapcast or something? I mean, I just want to make sure I exhaust all my options. I don't think we can snap anything. I do want to makeshift mannequin. <laughs> they have twelve cards left. Let's get Gristle Brand. Go to our upkeep. Draw seven. <laughs> Got him. All right, they have to win the next game in three minutes. So that's a thing, I guess. <sighs> Cryptic commands actually seems pretty good here. So we have 20 mana sources in a 27 card deck. I'm going to take out Knight's Whisper. Hmm. Well, I kind of like this. I'll keep it. What did happen there in the end? Uh, we lost because they brain freeze this. We had no cards in our library. Oh, good. Narse it again. <laughs> that seems good. Um... I mean, I was just going to Blood Chief's Thirst this. They've, they have tons of answers to Snapcaster, and I think it's just better in our deck. Especially if we go, like, Snapcaster him to Torok next turn. You got it. So we're just making them discard their hand and getting a Snapcaster on board. And that seems pretty good. I mean, if the last card, if the last, if like they top deck or can find a time twister, it's pretty bad. 
<laughs> Time Spiral in the graveyard is pretty good. So is Palancron, I guess. Yep. Just don't find Time Twister or else this game is significantly worse. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we just win the game. All right. All right. Got him. Okay. Welcome back. Oh, that was fast. Man, that thing just popped immediately. Let's play first. Maybe we'll have better luck this time. Let's keep this hand. <sighs> Unfortunately, we do the draw all the card step and my opponent plays an R set three games in a row, so... That's pretty cool. Oh, let's play land. I like lands. I also want to preordain. Hit a second black. See, I want to draw either of these. I didn't necessarily want to draw that either, but... The one, <laughs> hello Frank, it's me, Zombub. Zombub, what up, my dude? Oh my god, there's two Zombubs? All right, I think we're going to bounce this. Ooh, the Marari Conjecture and a Plains, huh? Hello, <laughs> Frank, it's new Zombo. <laughs> I want a PBTQ with your Primal Surge lives back in the day. Oh, man, that's awesome. That's actually amazing. Oh, they missed a land drop because we hemmed their their third land? God, sometimes. Oh, Frank, it's new Zombo. <laughs> There's so many Zombubs in the chat. Oh, my God. I understand now. In death, we are all Zombub. His name is Zombub. Oh, interesting. Shut up and they didn't take play my money. Last turn. Hey, Frank, it's me, Zombub. I'm donating a Zormbub. <laughs> okay, so we should have actually, if I if I was playing uh, completely correctly, I would have actually wanted to factor fiction in response to this. So now we're just going to play Brazen B instead. Because if they have, like, Mana Leak, that's... Oh, they didn't have anything. You had nothing. All right. Well, now we got threat. Is this like a Spartacus thing? Yeah, you know, probably. It's, I imagine, yeah. It's prob probably. Hello, Ray. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm just like... Really just impressed with all of you. Okay, so they did have a mana leak. Hmm. Oh, I like a charter course. I'm gonna drop, let's drop the BZ.
Ooh, big snapples. So what do you think? Let's exhume first. And then if that don't work, we can animate the dead. Animate the dead. I got a gristle dead. It makes me sad. Bring him back to me. I'm gonna draw some cards. Don't make me sad, Gristle Dad. We got we got seven mana. We can just cast Shieldred. I'm gonna drop the Deluge and the Bolus's Citadel. Well, what do you think about Legacy? Uh, I mean, Legacy's fine. I don't really have a super big interest in Legacy. Um, we can't respond to this with anything. This is fine. I'm not going to draw seven more cards. Like, there's no reason to. Crystal B, it'll burn your throat. So the nice thing is, as soon as we go to the upkeep, they gotta get rid of the Gristle Bree. Unless they have an instant speed creature like a Venser, that would be terrible for us. Oh, they didn't. Yeah, nice. What is my favorite for format outside of Cube? Um, does limited count? Does it just like draft count? Really? We're going to play two high tide decks in a row, huh? <laughs> Okie dokie. Well. Everyone's real cute. It used to be modern, yeah. I don't know why it's not modern anymore. Seems good. Okay, sure. Did I see you in the one about the Magic Origins Pro Tour? I don't think so. Maybe? I don't know. They're at one life right now? Huh. <laughs> Just play the... Play the... The thing. Dang it, why can't I target with this? Why can't you be signing blood like your brother? Okay, you got Siggy. I mean, shoulder it and uh, I guess they can get Consecrated Sphinx, which is pretty good. Yep, that's decent. Hmm, boy. That's a thing, all right. Let's get rid of Shieldred, Night's Whisper, land, 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 land. So this is, I don't know how many cards this is. 
We're keeping a blue. Probably Blood Chief's Thirst. I mean, I don't want to pitch things because I do want to have some way to, to cast the thing and win the game. I guess they're at one, so. You know. <laughs> Seems good. I still have seven cards in their hand. Oh, what up, Cheese Wisp? Do you talk about keeping it? We don't actually talk about keeping it all. And we also haven't done the podcast in like three weeks. Three months, actually. It's been a while. Well, good. They're just really they're just really doing the things here. Four or eight, so we're just dead on board. It's harder to get him with the end of turn fly guy because, you know, we actually die before then. <laughs> but, you know, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. So. Cryptic Command should probably come in. Shriek Maw can come out. Uh... <sighs> you know what sure it's a little slow but we have triple blue which is kind of nice Started from this from a guile aboard a pirate ship. That's not how that works. The funniest Oh my fucking god, are you serious with this Narset bullshit? Literally first round and second round have had Narset and and uh high tide in them. I mean, hopefully they just play a big fat creature. <laughs> That'd be great. And then I can steal it. That's all I want. And then I'll top deck a Mox and play Consecrated Sphinx. I mean, fun, some of the funniest artwork is literally from 7th edition. It's all pretty ridiculous. It has been a heck of a night for... Uh, not drawing cards. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> Okie dokie. Regrowth time walk. Good times. Where were you last turn? I mean, this is almost pointless. Like, they, they, they have to have either Counterspell or Mana Lake here, so. 
Yeah, factor fiction. Does everyone have that too? Oh, a dig through time. That's good. That's good. Have you ever tried a mana leak a land drop? I don't think so. But it's definitely, I mean, I've definitely had my share of ridiculous stuff that's not that. What's this, what has a stronger flavor, ketchup or ranch? I think ketchup has a stronger flavor. What has more flavor? I think it's ketchup. Oh, look, I wonder if they have counterspell. One, two, three, four, five, treachery. You're gonna let me take it. <laughs> You're wrong on this and I may unfollow soon if you keep on. Oh, damn. Well, this is not ideal. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we're not going to cast Consecrated Sphinx into. Would you describe ranch as tasting like thick milk? Um, I am a ranch fan. I'm not. I. I. So I'm a bigger ranch fan of a restaurant like homemade ranch. If you get like like Hidden Valley, it's usually trash. This is interesting. So I think like, so I think it's funny because restaurant ranch is like very preservative or not. Uh, uh, grocery store ranch is usually very like preservative heavy. Whereas ketchup restaurant or uh, grocery store ketchup is very good. So it's kind of like, you know. We're running with the shot. We're just hoping they have mana leak. Of course, they have counterspell. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, we should have definitely voted for the token. Yeah, good. I mean, like, I'm on autopilot when it comes to Council's Judgment. That happens so infrequently. Um, you can have high tide. Not really thrilled about giving you a bribery. Ketchup having a worse flavor. You're actually, I mean... It's like you're shitting on America, man. That's. Oh, good. They're going to get a counter spell back and then they're going to get time walk back. Yeah, I'm going to concede this game. This is not this is not a situation I want to be in. So it's awkward for everybody. I have never had cranch because I don't have any desire to combine ketchup and ranch. But I bet the Canadians, man. I bet they've done it. Kerwick can tell us.
We're running with the shadows of the... I never tasted a ranch dressing. This doesn't exist. Ranch doesn't exist down there? That's wild, dude. I will mix ranch and barbecue. I So I don't actually... Here's the thing. If like so let's not let's let's exclude ranch from this, but let's say mayo and barbecue. I've had sandwiches with mayo and barbecue on them, and I was like, this is friggin' delicious. I'm surprised at how well they go together. But it's too weird for me to mix them myself and like put that on something. Like I'm never gonna get a bowl and put a little bit of mayo and put a little bit of barbecue and then mix them together and put that on a sandwich. I'm never doing that. But when they're both on a sandwich together, I'm, I, I'm usually pretty fond of it. I don't understand it. What about a barbecue chicken salad? Add ranch to that. Why well, don't th I see the thing is I would avoid a barbecue chicken salad because I don't feel like barbecue in my salad is really where I want to be. See, but a buffalo chicken salad, that I would that I would put some ranch on. Because buffalo and and you know, ranch go together naturally anyway. If you could press your belly button and any condom would come out, what would yours be? <laughs> oh, God. You're really asking the tough questions here. You guys ever try French onion dip and salsa mixed together? Nah, bro. Is fudge a condiment? I don't think it is, but I definitely can support where you're going with that. Where is it coming out from? Oh, dear. I guess I don't consider hot fudge a condiment because it's on a dessert rather than like an entree. But I don't know if that's legit. I don't know if that's a valid criticism or a valid uh, like qualifier. Does that make sense? Okay. You know what? I'm game. We're playing against Jerry Rice. That's wild. Are you disturbed by the infantile behavior of your chat? No, I think I I think I'm I think me and the chat are all good. So this is great because we can go library, draw a card, mocks. Oh baby. <laughs> And if we don't hit a land, we actually can't uh, draw. So we might just want to actually go draw a card to make sure we hit a land. We didn't, but then we did. Unfortunately, we have nothing to play here. For all your strength. You have nothing to play here. I'm pretty sure library draw mocks is a vintage cube was invented for. Yeah, I mean, we could discard Sphinx. I think it's probably correct. But I'm not really excited to, to reanimate it just because... Fascinating. Um, Just because, like, we're not, like, for, we're not lacking for cards right now. So, Chaos there, you're actually referring to, uh, you're actually not referring to the Shadows of Renishrod Pro Tour. You're referring to uh, the Oath of the Gatewatch Pro Tour. And additionally, you are also not referring to the finals because uh, we didn't, we played in like the top, in the, in the elimination rounds. Um, yeah, we're just going to impulse here. So, we got Gristleby. Do we have any way to get this dude in the graveyard? I don't think so. 
I kind of just want the land. I think we're just taking land here. That's weird, but that's okay. Do I have to select if there's only one creature? I wonder if it's going to be like... I do. They're still going to be like, click on it. We want you to click on it. Considering they're an Esper deck, I have, I have to assume that they have a good amount of removal for this guy in the... <laughs> Yep, here we go. They're like, okay, hold on, upkeep. Murder this stupid idiot. Yep, cool. And now it's exiled, so I can't even get it back. Good times. Let's see if we can hit a land here on our... Oh, we're good at this game. Living the dream. So we're going to go down to six, go up to eight, play a land. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, play a land. Sure. Still got to keep up Brazy B. They have six cards. We have seven cards. What could go wrong? Oh, Mark watching Mythical Kitchen. I love it. Dude, I love Good Mythical Morning. I'm a huge Red and Link fan. Uh, okay, so I don't want to bounce any of these things because they all have good card draw things. I don't care about that, though. All right, well. Hmm. <laughs> I keep laughing all the time. Mark, you seem very prone to laughter, which is a pretty awesome quality, man. Um, Definitely playing a swamp here. Remember that time we played uh, Consecrated Sphinx and then they had Vindicate, they had Anguished Unmaking to follow up with their Vindicate? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Have you ever done a hot sauce challenge while playing cube? Not while playing cube, no. We have done it for several things like charity events or uh, I think we did one on my, my birthday stream. So you just spell seeker here and see what our options are. Could have spell seeker and actually hit him to Torok, which would have been good. Uh, I'm also thinking of charting, of course, and then shield reading. I'm also thinking of blood chief to get rid of this baleful strix in case they have like a friggin' what's that dude's name? You know the one. I'm gonna take chart, of course. See, now I just kind of want to discard a land, because we can just cast Shouldered. I don't want to rely on Exhum. Yeah, all right. And we have lots of answers. Hopefully they don't just do something ridiculous, I guess. It's 
pretty frustrating. Yep. Interesting. Oh, God. Interesting. So you have three cards in hand. I kind of just like killing Kaya here. Hmm. I mean, we still have lots of answers, lots of things to do in our hand. We just don't have... Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Hmm... I guess on the bright side, they can't. I'm tempted to bounce it, but it's not great. It does let a Snapcaster... It does let a Snapcaster uh, Hero's Downfall. Get in there with the bird. They didn't get in there with the bird. Can't imagine why. Hmm. Okay. Are they just hard casting this? Yeah, okay, sure. Hmm. Are they going to counter this? Okay. Okay, getting the Tefri out was pretty good. So 
So we have five mana here. Snap him again. Um, uh, I kind of want a deluge for one here, or we can attack deluge for three, which seems pretty good. And I do want to get the deluge out of my hand before we um, before we start casting like brazen bar or things like that. Yeah, I'd rather just spend one more mana on deluge and get rid of their. Or one more life, rather. Um, one, two, three. I mean, now we're not in terrible shape. Like, they have one card. We can't really do a Shark Typhoon. But getting rid of that Teferi was pretty pretty sweet. Let's just get another island here. Huh. Without knowing what they have in their hand, I'm not thrilled about just running out of shield right here. They're also not attacking with Creeping Tar Pit. I mean, we have Factor Fiction and Brazen Barber here, so... So top and then top again, huh? They're really digging for something there. Oh, that just immediately resolved. I think they have sixed. Interesting. Definitely taking bottom pile. Oh yeah, huh, not even close. Venser seems pretty good here. Yeah, her hand seems pretty good. Got a thing they can play. They're venturing. So we can venture their venture. Yeah, I was definitely considering bouncing typhoon. Draw a card, sure. Okay, so we have Venser Scrubland. You got it. So now you're going to draw top. Seems good. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
Alright, so top again. Sounds good. This is definitely like the uh, monastery mentor combo. I mean, this is a hell of a. Okay. Sure. Bolus's Citadel. Interesting. Thank you. Cheese Wisp, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Wow. Yep, all right, that's fascinating. Still get on tap five lands, though. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. I mean, we know they're drawing top here, so... So they get another 1-1. One, one. Wow, I am surprised they won this game. I mean, I think if they don't have answer for Shieldred on the top few cards, that's uh, that's pretty good for us. I keep bringing in Cryptic Command because I feel like it's silly not to bring it in. <laughs> like it's just it's Cryptic Command. What were the two creatures they had? Wall of Omens and like Baleful Strix. Bunch of sharks. I think Sh I think Shriek Maw is actually fine. Um. Nighthawk Scavenger actually seems decent. We can... I don't want to cut Deluge because I think a bunch of 1-1s one and 2-2s, two it's kind of obnoxious, but... I don't know, maybe it's not that great. I want to take Bolus' Citadel out. I don't think it's doing much. I mean, I know it's like, oh, Dan Bope's in the chat? Oh my god, MTG bot himself? Love it. What up, Dan? Um, yeah, again, we'll keep the library into draw a card into Mox Hand. So, card, draw, card. Seems good. And we have double black for the him. You know, eventually. So next time we can play Luteral Core, right? Oh, oh, it's Bobby. So we'll go land, draw, Lutzi Tootsie. So I guess we both have cards to uh to draw us more cards. This is our first draft. This this feels like it's taken forever. Yep, that is fine. So we know you still have an, a swamp in hand. Oh, you didn't attack. Luteral core can't block. Oh man.
Oh, Shark Typhoon and the hit in the bin is is nice. Let's preordain here. Spellseeker? I think I can bottom you. Actually, next turn Spellseeker can get like Exhum. And we can bring back like Consecrated Sphinx or something. <laughs> Light confidence. At the beginning of every upkeep, shove a card from your hand randomly into your library. That's good. Yeah, I would play that. What could go wrong? Let's discard Consecrated Sphinx. Oh man, the rich get richer. I did. I didn't read the extra. Your hand. I actually. Did, I I didn't know that was deliberate. That's that's my bad. Well, they get to hit something here. I don't love it. Now they're going to attack with Dark Confidant because my Luteral Core is tapped. So, Got him. Hmm. So one, two, three. I don't want to exhume, unfortunately, because they have Stormcaller, which is just a two one, but still. What are we getting rid of here? Probably Charter Course. I mean, Charter Course is just a worse looter. <laughs> like, no, it nets you cards. Yeah, I mean, we have seven cards, though. Oh, Demonic Tutor. Seems good. Did they play a... Oh, they played a Swamp, so we know that guy's gone. Demonic Tutor's gone. We know they have a Plains. God, I just don't care about Sensei's Divining Top at all. And I do wish I had a, a more efficient way to get rid of this Dark Confidant. Oh, and they cast Ancestral Recall. That seems good. Your opponent's graveyard. I mean, we could just actually draw a card, Venser the Dark Confidant. This guy's a 5-3? Oh, wow. That is bananas. What do you got? Enchantment creature, sorcery instant. Hmm. We could also Snapcaster him. I actually kind of like that. I mean, eventually we'll have to hit Cryptic Command, right? This also has the potential to raise this guy. Oh, Mirari Conjecture and Venser. Okay. Draw. Island. Plus this is six more damage and they're at... They go to ten. Oh my god, my phone is going ham. I'm so sorry if you guys can have been able to hear that this whole time. Um, let's just get rid of Swamp here. Man, there were three out of three out of four cards have been lands. It's pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Oh, Hero's Downfall. 
It was not meant to be. Thief of Sanity. Okay. Really? I mean, I'm snap blocking Dark Confidant. It seems kind of like a no brainer. Exhum. See, this is where Exhum is just trash. Hmm. We have seven mana. I mean, I can get Consecrated Sphinx or I can get Snapcaster back, but like none of these are very good right now because they get Dark Confidant or Venser back. Actually, don't. I guess this guy just is literally just a, a generic 2 1. Venser can bounce something, which is kind of frustrating. I guess we can hit first, see what happens. Wait, Spellseeker for Blood Chief to kill a colony? How would, the, how would we ever do that? How on earth would that ever work? Not only is Blood Chief a sorcery, but like we're not even that scared of their colonnade right now. Um... I don't want to discard Exhum either because I just think it is versatile. I think Shriek Maw is pretty bad here. Let's play land. Draw a card. Okay. Okay. I think we're just venturing the, the Thief of Sanity here. We still get to give up Impulse or Knight's Whisper. Could also just exhume here. <laughs> get back. I guess whatever we get back, they, they're likely to venture it. I don't know if that's okay. Yeah, this is fine. I'll just keep on pulls up. And we have Cryptic Command. You know, for next turn. I'm not in. This is why I'm not in love with like Shriek Maw and Bone Shredder in the cube, because there's just so many black creatures that you just want to kill, but you just can't. So. What can you do? I mean, there's so many times where I would just like ra rather have a ravenous chupacabra that kills anything from Gristlebrand to Mere Battlesphere to Thief of Sanity. Like, we could spell Seeker and go get a Blood Chief's Thirst, which will be, which might be what we're doing for this Thief of Sanity, unless we can just find it naturally here. Okay, wow, that's interesting. Um. That is interesting. It's got to be treachery, right? That is fascinating. I mean, they could have anguished on making go to six. But, like, at no point do we not get to untap our lands, which is super nice. Um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's draw a card. Huh. Well, there you go. There you go. Our hand has so many cards right now. This is ridiculous. I mean, you can probably get rid of Knight's Whisper here. I'd rather just keep lands. <laughs> yeah, they're going to Anguish on making. We're going to Cryptic. Oh, they're going to top instead. Okay, that's good. Because now, like, whatever they want to do to save their Thief of Sanity, A, it means they can't attack on their turn if they wanted to kill the Treachery EOT. And B, it means we they're going to have to use three of their mana on their turn. Yeah, that guy's fine.
Floopy Minx, thank you so much for the raid. Really appreciate it. What up, y'all? Oh, this is fascinating. What if we what if we cryptic command this? Um hmm. So if we counter it and tap their board, they have they take five and go to three? Is that good? Hmm. Hmm. Or we could just return their colonnade. Do they play a land this turn? See, these are the decisions. They played an island. Hmm. We definitely don't need a draw card. I think I just want to bounce colonnade. I don't know. Is that better than just tapping their board? Yeah, because they got the baleful strix. Let's just let's just tap their board. One, two, three, four. So we can play around Mana Lake, we can play around Spell Pierce, we can't play around Remand. Or just old school counterspell. Uh you got it. Deal. Bet. This feels like a concession days. Wait, what? Oh, that's sure. That's interesting. That was way, way interesting. So the lesson is always make sure your spell has two targets. Let's get another swamp here. We have nine cards in our deck. Um, I don't think we actually want to draw again. I'm going to be honest. There's just too much going on. Because this is three damage. We get to hit the with the sanity. We get to steal a card. We just have so much card advantage right now. That's like... I'm more concerned with decking ourselves than, than I am with running out of cards in my hand. Uh, discard an island. I will 100% take a Kaya here. One, two, three. One. Okay, just, just, just come on. There you go. Stop being weird. <laughs> just play the card. You ever get congested sinuses, so you door dash some meds and also throw in some pepper jack to keto? Uh, uh, personally, I have never done this. Guys, we can also make our exhum very good here. We can exile Venser and Baleful Strix. Um... Man, it's really sad that... I guess we wouldn't be able to do anything anyway. I'm just going to play. You want some meds and pepper jack taquitos? You know what? At the moment, I think I'm good. But I do I do very much appreciate the offer. Okay, they have two cards in hand. I feel like we could win this game. And dip them in rants. Maybe some Hidden Valley Ranch. Don't... Let's not... Let's not talk about Hidden Valley Ranch. Oh, we're digging through time. Well, well, well. Well, this is fascinating. Um, Venser's on the board. You're at five. What can we get back? We can get back Shriek Maw, Nighthawk. I think we're just getting Nighthawk back at the end of the turn. I think Nighthawk, Nighthawk just kills them now, right? This is, oh, this might be great. 
what do they have? Instant sorcery and creature. So this guy's four plus looter. Yeah, they're just dead. That's that's gonna be the game. That's a bingo. I think we just two one. And Kerwet, I'm pretty sure we drew all the cards. I mean, alternatively, we could have gotten consecrated Sphinx back, but this is this is more glorious. Do 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 do. Good games. Good games, Jerry. And scene. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you're watching on Twitch. I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, though, be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Kerwit, thank you so much for the stip, buddy. I always appreciate your support. You are a wonderful friend. And I hope we drew enough cards for you. That last game was pretty insane. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely head over to Twitch. Uh, you can subscribe or follow. They're great ways to support the channel. You can even head over to patreon.com slash Frank You get uh, to support the channel for like a dollar a month if, if that's what you can afford. But um, yeah, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you later.